Hey everyone, this is Bridget Rays and I am back with another stylish tip for you for the week. Um, as promised, this is my third tip. Uh, I've been promising tips every week on um, cleaning out your closet and I promised three of them. I may have some more, I'm not, I'm not sure, but this is my third that I, I definitely wanted to, to get to you. Um, and I want to talk about um, items in your closet that it doesn't really matter if they're there. They're not necessarily stylish. Maybe they're your at-home comfortable clothes your sick pants, um, the things that you wear casually that you don't even really acknowledge. They just sort of are there in a drawer somewhere or they're piling up or whatever. Um, I, uh, I'm all for sick pants and, and, and things that we wear to, to be comfy cozy at home or whatever, whatever floats your boat. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Um, my, my husband has a nickname for me when I'm uh, at home and and I've worked a long day or I'm just hanging out on the weekends, he calls me Helena Bonham Carter because I look, I'm, I'm a wreck. I'm a wreck and I will admit it. And if I've worked a long day or if I'm not really feeling well or I'm working from home, I don't care. So I am all for it. I, I don't want to give off the impression that I think we should all walk around constantly like it's a fashion show. Sometimes it just feels good to let it go. Um, I mean, I know we all love when we take our bra off at the end of the day, right? Um, but what I want you to become aware of is the habit of sort of stockpiling these things. It's it's sort of like we, we downgrade our clothes, right? So if we have a t-shirt that starts out as a nice t-shirt, then it gets downgraded maybe to a weekend t-shirt, and then the next thing you know it, it's downgraded to maybe yoga, and the next thing you know it, it's downgraded to sleeping in. So that last step is sort of where, like, you know, it never sort of cycles itself out to donations. So things just sort of clog in this area. And I see it a lot with clients. And, and in my work as a stylist with, with clients, I have to be very... Um, I have to really pay attention. I mean, it's it's not just about fashion sense. It's about being able to listen out for the psychological cues that, that are important to address. And I hear this a lot. Um, and, uh, for example, I will work with a client and there's a ton of junky t-shirts or old ratty jeans. And um, they'll say, well, you know what, let me just hold those for home projects. You know, the next time I do a painting project at home and I, I, I literally look around their walls and they're all white. So I'm thinking, what have you painted any in the last like decade? Or, uh, these are my dog walking pants or these are my dog walking clothes. I'll, I'll just, I'll keep, you know, I'm not going to get rid of them. I'll, I'll, I'll keep them for walking the dog. Okay. Um, this was another great one that I, I heard, which was, um, I had a client, um, every time I would pull out a bad t-shirt or a, um, a pair of, you know, junky pants or whatever. Oh, you know what? To use and take out the garbage. And the problem was she kept saying with everything I pulled out, you know what? Just keep it all to use it to take out the garbage. I actually had to stop her at one point and say, you know, you, you take out a lot of garbage and you have an entire wardrobe for this. So I want you to be very, become very aware of this sort of knee jerk reaction to, you know what? I'll just keep it for blank and it's something that apparently you need a huge wardrobe for I don't know I mean I don't know how, I mean look I, I think we all need the sick pants I think we all need the sort of cozy whatever that we wouldn't want to be caught dead in on the street but we don't need an entire wardrobe to take out the garbage and if you haven't painted your home or done a home project in the past five years there's no reason to have an entire collection of it and I really don't think your dog cares what you wear when you walk them so I mean how much do you really do you really need um and I and look, I'm guilty of this. I I did this myself recently. I was doing this huge purge in my in my wardrobe, and I got to my sort of that tank top, yoga pant drawer that sort of is the catch all. I pulled out this sleeveless shirt that had you know slowly cycled down to I'll wear it to yoga, and I looked at it and I was like, okay, yeah, fine, I'll keep it. I'll wear it to you to yoga, and um and then I stopped because I, I heard myself and I pulled it out again and I said wait do you even want to wear this to yoga and I realized no and I hadn't worn it to yoga I just was using that as this ridiculous excuse like oh just keep it for yoga and it just it, it piles um so if you have a hard time letting go um and you you really can't catch yourself on your mental sort of those mental those cues that that sort of inform you of what you're doing or what you're saying whatever you're I'm using this to walk the dog or paint my apartment or take out the garbage line is um another thing you can ask yourself when you pull something out is um if I was in the store right now would I would I buy it I think my cat just knocked over some hangers um <laughs> I have two cats um and um if 
if you are if you were in a store right now, would you would you buy this item? And if your answer is no, it is absolutely no reason being in your closet and you have to let it go. So it's a great thing to ask yourself. It's a great thing you can ask yourself in general, but I really wanted to address that sort of catch-all drawer that we all seem to have of like too many pairs of comfortable pants. Um, so another thing you can do is if you have too many of them, again, going back to my garbage taking out client, um, I don't remember how many she had. This was a very long time ago, but let's say she had, I don't know, like 12 pairs. I mean, it was a ridiculous amount. And I said, okay, you have 12 pairs. You now can pick three. So you kind of reduce it by a third or a quarter of, of what the amount is that you have if there's too many. And you, you can keep that many. And I, I really don't think she needs three pairs for taking garbage out. But I think her goal was to have, you know, three pairs that maybe were her sort of comfortable at home pants. So that's something else you can do. Reduce it by a quarter of whatever that number uh, is. Um, this also applies to concert t-shirts. I just want to make one last uh, point about that or vacation t-shirts. Look, the next time someone goes on vacation and says, what can you bring? What can I bring you back? Say, do not bring me a t-shirt. I had a client, I took, I swear, I, there had to, she was a big music fan. There had to have been in her whole life, she saved every single concert t-shirt she ever went to. And I think she had over 50 t-shirts. Where was she? she was never going to wear them. And I think what we did with them was I think she was thinking about making them into a quilt, which I thought was really cool of repurposing. Anyway, just a very quick tip on that. Uh, next week, I'll be back with another tip, maybe closet related, maybe not. I don't know yet. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any questions yourself, I'm happy to answer this way, them this way on uh, uh, via video. You can uh, email me at BridgetRays.com. On BridgetRays.com, you can find me and email me there. You can uh, you can also find me on Facebook, uh, Bridget Ray Style Expert, all one word. Uh, Twitter at Bridget Ray's, Pinterest at Bridget Ray's, Instagram at Bridget Ray's. You can see my cats on Instagram, by the way, the one who just knocked the hangers over. Um, and uh, any other social media outlet, uh, it's usually always at Bridget Ray's. So I look forward to hearing from you and certainly look forward to catching up with you next week. In the meantime, have a fantastic week and I'll talk with you soon.